Just four little letters describe all of you. From your nose to your toes and your tattered old shoe. You've probably guessed at this word, I bet. But if you haven't figured it out just yet, I'll spell it out for the whole world to read. These four letters are C, U, N. Locked in the house and I'm missing little baby Like in my puppet, but you know I'm blazing Trying to get past all of my time This month, I pre-ordered two things One was Cyberpunk 2077 Which I am waiting to play on the channel And the other thing that I pre-ordered was Gabby Hanna's new poetry book, Dandelion, which came out a day ago. By the time this video is out though, it could be a week, I don't know. Needless to say, one of the two pre-orders I have been waiting to get my hands on for so long and I cannot wait. I've just really wanted it for so long and I've, I'm a fan. The other is cyberpunk. Cannot wait to show you Gabby Hanna's new book. I haven't even opened it. That's how good this book is. I'm scared. Yo, this is like unboxing therapy. This is gonna be music to your ears. This is gonna be, you know, you feel calmer. <clears throat> I have to work on my unboxing skills. Whew. Dandelion. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome, you big fat baby. And if you're not new here, even welcome up, you big baby. Either way, hit the subscribe if you don't subscribe. Gabby Hanna. I just want to also take a second to say a quick I'm sorry. Initially, I wanted to call up some fans and read them poetry, and I thought it would have been a great idea because of the stuff that's happened this week. My anxiety just spiked to the point where I just put down my phone and, um... I don't know if I can give you my full attention if I call you and I don't wanna half ass it with anybody. So I promise I will make it up to you, I'm sorry. So if you're new to the channel, I did look at a Gabby Hanna poetry book before called Adult Olescence. And apparently it's a New York Times bestseller. New York, what are you doing? And it was written and illustrated by Gabby Hanna. One thing I still wanna say is I seriously still really like the illustrations. I think she's pretty damn talented and you just can't take that away from her. The other thing I wanna say before going into the book is I just opened it. I don't know how it is. And I'm obviously not hoping for this to be bad. I want her to do well. I don't want anybody not to do badly. But judging from her last book, which even she said was not her best work. It's 250 pages, so there's gotta be a few good ones, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Sorry, let's be zen. Let's be... Just like that. I stole your mom's virginity. <clears throat> I don't know why I say things sometimes. Page one. Her first poem is called Bloom. I was 26 years old when I saw my first flower, and instead of rejoicing in its beauty, I mourned for all the years I was blind. That is a good poem. That's already such an improvement. Maybe it's because I heard the song Vienna the other day by Bully Joel, but when anything references time and the fact that we put so much pressure on ourselves to get to certain goals at a certain time, it's always a good thing to write about having time. So I think it's a great poem. Oh man, maybe this book is finally turning out to be pretty, nope. Flight 141. I don't particularly wish to die, but if this plane chose not to fly and plummet swiftly from the sky, well, I suppose that'd be just fine. You sound like a crazy man. Why is she already back to the emo stage of her life? Why? I thought we finished that with adult lessons. Can you imagine reading this book on a plane? Which so many people do read books on a plane. Your favorite YouTuber is like, hey, I don't care. I would don't f the sky. Dandelions are so cool. You blow it and you wish for things. I wish you'd write better poetry. <laughs> Sorry. Money. If I had a dollar for every time a stranger saw me cry in public, I still couldn't buy happiness. Why are you so sad, Gabby? It's... It's eight pages into the book! I thought it was uplifting, the cover was yellow, the color of the sun, but if it was for you, you'd be like, the sun is burning rays into my soul. Why are you crying in public? What is happening? I thought you had a great life, Gabby. Can I help you? <sighs> Page 13, Tinted. Some people dance like no one's watching. I cry hysterically in my car like no one can see into my window. Is this even poetry at this point or is this just another therapy session that you wrote in a book? You just said you cried in public the last time. Now you tinted your windows and you're still crying? Pick one, that's too much. Too many tears, Gabby. I compared you to Bully Joel's best song. Now we're talking about tinted crying windows. Why you do this to me? It is harder to relate when you see a YouTuber crying in their 
fucking tinted Lamborghini. That's something I dream to do. Murder? How many times did you think you could kill me and get away with it? Is this still about the same person from the last book, Gabby? It's been three years. Gabby, let it go. You know that song? I'll make a man out of you? Turn, do that one. You know what, Fuck it, I didn't even read the synopsis. I'm gonna read it now, cause maybe I'm missing something. In this visually thrilling installment of the inner workings of Gabby's mind, we're taken on a journey of self-loathing, chilling twists on childlike rhymes. Bro, even your synopsis is dissing you. The poems in these pages range from topics of rage to despair to downright silliness. Bro, your synopsis, whoever wrote it is like, Gabby Hannah thinks she's cool. Turns out she's more like a mule. And I don't beep, sir, I duel. Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. Oh, you're gonna laugh at me for this? but I fully thought this was Ass Hamid. It just says Hashamed, and I feel Ass Hamid right now. <laughs> wow, that says Necro. <laughs> I wish you were dead. All right then, well. I wish you were dead, not because I hate you, but because I love you so much. It's too hard knowing that you're walking around all breathy and pulsy and not decomposy, and I can't have you. I want your outsides to match my insides. Oh my God, can someone call the police? I want them to be all still and rotting and soon to be forgotten. I want to know that the reason you're not calling is your fingers have turned to dust. I fantasize that the reason you don't think about me is the worms have eaten your memory. It's much kinder to say, I can't have your heart because it no longer beats. Let me down gently. Just die already. It's kind of hard to relate to this because I've never wanted any of my exes to die. Don't you just wish your exes were happy? Gabby, you're definitely good enough to find another person. You don't have to be so hung up about this butthole. You can do better. Call me. I can recommend you to someone. Whoever Gabby is in love with really must be reading these books and being like, Gabby, can you just talk it out with me? Every text Gabby sends to this man must be like, oh, what for? I wish it you were here for one more year, because I feel like death has embraced my soul. I missed the last time you plowed this hole. Oh God, sorry, Gabby, sorry. Gabby, I can't, why you, why you do this, Gabby? Why, how, why, now I must read this, why? Gabby, this looks like my mom's kitchen floor from the 90s. I'd have learned that the queen needs the most protecting. That's not even true in chess, it's the king. That needs to be protected. The queen is actually the most powerful piece. Oh, here's a good poem. Took 50 pages, but we got here. Middle. Too old to be relatable. Too young to be wise. Too smart to be believable. Too dumb to be disguised. Too dull to be an artist. Too creative for a nine to five. Too weak to find my purpose. Too strong to say goodbye. I think that explains her particular situation and how she feels very eloquently and perfectly. What is this? Where is this great poetry coming from in the middle of some crappy poetry? Why do you sprinkle it in there? You like those muffins that have those little chocolates in them. Why is there so little? Why can you not make it half the muffin? Why can't you just turn it into a chocolate? I'm talking about a chocolate bar, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, you know the one thing I actually missed the most about the last book that she seemed to take out? is the relatives thing. I missed the dad jokes in the first book. This book doesn't seem to have humor. Instead we get shitty fedora poems like this, decaf. I put day old coffee into a plastic travel cup because I can't ask the world for a latte today. <sighs> Who's supposed to get that? Is there someone in a cafe drinking coffee reading this book somewhere going... <laughs> She gets me. I've found the messiah of the poems. It's called Love. It's on page 70. I'll read it to you. Get your family here. Just four little letters describe all of you. From your nose to your toes in your tattered old shoe. I know what you're thinking. That's absurd to put such a big meaning on one little word. But that's all it takes. Just four tiny symbols to express how I feel. It's really that simple. That's all I need, just four itty letters. I promise you no longer word could do better. Write a whole sentence, a paragraph, a novel. My four letter word is much more colossal. It traces your every hair, skin, and blood cell. Just four teensy letters are you in a nutshell. This puny word is you as a whole. It embodies your mind, body, and soul. It describes you in such a way, I proclaim, that you sign these four letters in place of your name. You've probably guessed that this word, I bet. But if you haven't figured it out just yet, I'll spell it out for the whole world to read. These four letters are C-U-N-T. Cunt. 
In Australia, that's just how people say hello. Oh, God. And on the next page, he has a poem called Welcome, and all the words are written backwards. So the amount of effort that you would have to put into reading this poem is just insane. Not only is it backwards, but it's upside down, I'm pretty sure. Every time the Hergloid sign, Yetelgo, probe, just is your belong. Oh, I'm gonna look like a real idiot, because on the next page, she actually just wrote it in proper, normal English. Thanks for just taking up a page and making a stupid person look even more stupid. Voicemail. I hope I never have to hear your stupid fucking voice again, but please fucking call me. Please leave a message after the beep. This book is giving me depression, and I already have depression. This book is just piling it onto me. Gabby. <laughs> Oh, you have to be one of those girls who's like, look, I've got this new poem that I wrote. It's so cool. I hope I never have to hear your stupid fucking voice again, but please fucking call me. Gabby, tear this one out. Yo, Gabby straight up drew a naked woman in this book. Uh, she's got some nice tatas. Commitment. I don't want a boyfriend. I just want a guy to hang and grab food with almost every day and cuddle with every night who I can introduce to my parents and also doesn't talk to other girls in any romantic capacity. And maybe in the future, if it's something we both mutually decide is financially and personally right for us, buy a home and start a family. Nothing serious, I'm chill like that. <laughs> nice, Gabby. Nice. This whole book feels like one Tinder bio gone wrong. Do you need to constantly talk about guys? It's very erratic and emotional, and I guess that's what you're going for, which is great. Could you be a little more poetic? It's supposed to be a poetry book, but this sounds less like a poetry book and more like the ramblings of an incessant woman who went straight to the asylum after she wrote this. What is, what is this book made out of? Have you ever heard a book do this? Sounds like if two books have sex with each other at a library, like, ah, oh, Gabby is running out of poems. Look at this. What if meeting in the middle <laughs> is holding us both back? Maybe if I got a little history lesson into your relationship status, I would know who the hell this is about or what it's about. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Ironic. I never felt more lonely than when I had the most friends. Childish Gambino 3005. I got a house full of homies. Why I feel so the opposite. Are we not just saying the same thing over and over again, Gabby? Oh. Platonic, your friendship feels like rejection. Oh. Prostitutes. My therapist reminds me a lot of my ex. He makes me cry at least once a week, but I keep going back to him. I guess either way, you're the one paying. I'm gonna tell you the one thing that my friend always tells me, never pay your ex for sex again, Leo. And I keep saying the same thing, it's cheaper. <laughs> yes. There we go. Space, you were never mine. So, never mind, love. <laughs> ah. I'm losing my mind. Stalker, I tried to follow my dreams, but they got a restraining order. <laughs> I lost $20 on this book. <laughs> You know, Gabby, there's a poem called Blind on page 142 and 143. It's a kind of a cool concept that you wrote it in Braille. The only thing about Braille, Gabby, is that you have to feel it. If you write it in a book, a blind person can't be like, oh, that's Braille. They can't see it. That was the most unintentional offensive thing you've done in this book. Gabby is the only person to have full vision and be jealous of blind people. Freddy, we don't sing, but I'll get on the mic. Oh, you, oh, you could get off it, maybe. I uh, remember last time you got on the mic. Maybe I'm the mom. That was a tragic day. Date. I'm really easy going until I'm done pretending that I'm really easy going. I... Gabby. I'll tell you what, Gabby, this might not be a great poetry book, but if I ever need to sleep, all I need to do is read a couple pages of this and I will be knocked the f out like Mike Tyson just uppercut me. Okay, so that was Gabby Hanna's poetry book, Dandelion. Now I will say, at the very end of the book, after the poetry, she does get sort of biographical. And all things considered, it kind of gives me more insight into her personal life. 
and I'm glad that she included it there. There are also like two pages of a quite harrowing story of I think two different people who took advantage of her, which is really, really sickening. And you know, quite brave that she even had the guts to put it out there. So I applaud her for that. I just think if you were gonna write like that, why wouldn't you write a whole biography instead of just add five pages at the end of a poetry book? The structure in this book is like a Christopher Nolan film. It's all over the damn place and I'm wondering where Leonardo DiCaprio is. If there's anything I could tell you from experience Gabby is that you can only give someone as much as they give you if someone isn't showing you the time of day there is no point in you doing it back that is 16 Leo's book club for today if anybody has another book they'd like to recommend I would love to hear your suggestions please do drop it down in the comments or message me on my Instagram until then I will see you later I hope you had a cup of tea and maybe took a nice fat shit Please take care of yourselves. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, nah, nah, nah. Now you're just another like summer.